Welcome to Beyond the Lens. I'm your host, Tristan. And today we're diving into good and bad music. On this episode, we're joined by Christian. We'll be discussing what makes music good and what makes music bad. Hello, Tristan. Thank you for having me here. I'm really happy to be here. I know. All right. Uh, what, what kind of music do you like? What kind of genre? You know, I'm, I'm always listening to rock. Like, uh, and a little bit of rap. You know, I, I do listen to Mac Miller a little bit, you know, Little Peep. Uh, just, just listen one. What kind of... What kind of music do you listen to mostly rock? Yeah, mostly. Yeah, I, I listen to mostly rock. All right. What think? What makes you think? Uh, what adds substance to the music? Like, what? How is? Could you name a song that you listen to that's rock? Yeah. Uh, um, like I, I mostly listen to like Pierce the Veil, which is a, it's, it's a rock band. It's a really good rock band. Like I think my favorite song is like King for a Day. What I like about it is because it has its, its own story behind it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, the lyrics, you know, kind of like. Goes it, the lyrics is good, you know the beat is good, but like most importantly is like how the story is told and how they're telling it. Yeah, the meaning behind it. Exactly, exactly. All right, so for music in general, which is like the overall topic, do you think somebody could say definitively like what's like the best music than others, or, or is all of it just a, like subjective? Is it opinion? I think it's mostly opinion. I feel like I feel like a lot of people find out different types of songs like great. But some others might not find them great. Like, like you you listen to rap, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, like, who do you listen to? Uh, I, I listen to like Kendrick. Uh, his album called like How to Pimp a Butterfly. Like he has uh the, the songs in that. I think one of it is called uh King Kuta, and then like it describes of like where he's from and stuff, and, and like it has like a nice beat to it, and it has like a hook, and. I, I just like I, I just like all of it, you know. I just feel like there can't be like one thing that makes music good. It has to just you know, like if you just have one hook and the rest of it is trash, and that kind of weighs down like the music in terms of quality. So I think you know a lot of it goes hand in hand, and that's what makes it overall like objectively good. Now let's talk about albums that I think are trash. You ever heard of the uh, the Caretaker? The Caretaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah. I've heard of the K. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, do you like? Do you, know, yeah. do you know what it's about? Yeah, the point of the album is to, you know, describe like the the stages of dementia and stuff. They yeah, have different yeah, sound effects of, in yeah, it. Six stages of and dementia. all this stuff. Now, I, I I like that. You know, I like how it gives you like the. I wouldn't really call it music. I call it sound effects. But I mean, yeah, people say that it kind of destroyed their mindset. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Okay, from well, I I took uh, I, I was curious about it, and I would see like people talking about how it kind of like messed with them, you know, it, it, it messed their head up a little bit because like what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to oh like, yeah, it's supposed show to, you yeah, it, like put, how put it in perspective how, how dementia feels like. Yeah, but I still think it's trash though. I, I mean, I mean, yeah, I don't know who would pay three three dollars to buy that. But you know, you have to say uh, okay. Uh, now, the the meaning behind the the song, which is you know adding a dimension, that could be good. But do you think that alone could make the the overall album good? Like, do you think? I don't, I don't, I don't think it can make it good. I think it's still it's still garbage. You know, personally. It to each their own. So I, 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 everybody likes their own type of music, and I'm not gonna judge them. All right, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, do you think uh, like people's background could influence kind of music they like? Because music at the end of the day is just art, and you know people's, you know, all right, lens and perspectives of it. So do you think, do you think like if somebody comes from, you know, if somebody comes from an abusive house or like their dad used to beat them or something, do you think they? Okay. <clears throat> Do you think, do you think music that is you know soothing like like uh what like what could be soothing me like like R and B or stuff something that relaxes your mind state? Do you think uh they'll be kind of biased towards liking that music because they relate to it more? Okay, <clears throat> that's a very interesting case. Like uh, that's very interesting. Like it's a very interesting topic because yeah, I feel like if they come from an abusive household, I guess they just listen to like a lot of like. XXX and Tajian or like Little Peep or something. Why do you say that? 
I guess because I'd say I'd say that's depressing. Like, well, wouldn't you be depressed if like you're, like you're, you're getting abused? The you point know? I mentioned it was supposed to be like coping mechanism, not to yeah. If somebody's depressed, not yeah, listen to depressing. I mean, yeah, well, exactly. Like, if somebody's depressed, they can listen to depressing music. Like, like what? Why? If I'm depressed, that's the mood. Like, uh, okay, so you're depressed and you're telling me you you're gonna hear like because I'm happy. Pep. Like, it, it, like, no, you're not gonna listen to that when you're depressed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, but. You agree with like the overall like thing of what I'm saying is you know people's background whatever they're going through like they could like they have like a certain bias towards certain music because they relate to it more. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. Like it does. Like how you how like you're being treated or how 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 you're living your life will affect what you're listening to because. So yeah, so to end the topic, you would say most music is opinion opinionated. Like or I'm whatever subjective, because people, you know, for, for when it comes to music, people put their like emotions in or their own perspectives in it, so it can't truly be objective, right? I mean, yeah, exactly. Like, like let's say, like hey, you listen, you said you listen to Kendrick, right? Yeah. Well, I think I think I think he's bad. I don't I don't I don't I don't, don't want to listen to Kendrick. I don't uh, like Kendrick. But okay. He, he, well, what well, well, what song do you think that was bad for him? None. You just said he was bad because I haven't listened to him at all. Exactly, it's a, it's an opinion of that uh, based on emotion. You, but you haven't listened to any songs. So how could exactly. you say it was exactly. good or bad? It's or an not? opinion based on emotion. No, it's, it's stupid. You have to obviously listen to one of his songs. Right, that's what people do. No, you'd have to listen to it and then judge it rather it's good or bad. Think I can't say, oh, I, I like, it. I don't like pizza, but I never tasted pizza before. And I, I, I'll be, I'll be stupid. No, like, you exactly, have to exactly right. No, think, you're like, not think proving. About it. Think about it. Like the when when Drake. We're, no, we're going off topic. All right. <laughs> no, I'm music. in. This, I'm in this right here. All right. This is all the time we we have for today. Episode Beyond the Lens. A big thank you to our guest Christian for sharing their insights on music. We hope you found this discussion as interesting and informative as we did. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and leave a review if you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you next time on Beyond the Lens.